Hello everyone. I'm about to create a new presentation for a talk that I want to give and I thought I'd revisit Sozzy as a presentation tool creator. And given that I haven't played with it for a while and there have been some changes to the way the software works, I thought I'd try it out and show you the outcome. Sozzy is a open source product that allows you to take SVG files with a number of layers and perform transforms on each of those layers in terms of zooming, rotating, uh, cropping, and positioning. Using this you can create, as you can see on the screen, some quite interesting animations and I want to use that for the presentation that I'm about to build. So if we jump back to Inkscape, let's have a look at the the way that I'm going to create the layers and the elements that I'm going to move around. So the first thing I want to do, by default you start Inkscape and you have this layer 1 over on the right here. Uh, I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to call it Footer. So into this Footer I'm going to take the uh, Twitter handle, I'm going to paste that in, I'm going to change that to white, and we'll bring that down to the bottom here again, and I'm going to add a box in that will have um, black. Oh, let's just change the text color again. I'm going to have a black box here, and we'll send that to the background. And then the text that's in here somewhere will move to white again. There we go. So that's our footer. So we can now show and hide that. Now I'm going to create another layer and I'm going to, co going to call it um, Flow Icons. And in here we'll add the icons that we're going to create. Um, so let's just delete these bits of text here. And go back to Flow Icons. So we need a um, like a device or a mobile phone. So let's create something over here. Uh, we'll make that totally opaque black and a little bit fatter. And then we'll create another little box inside, and hopefully this will look something similar to a mobile device or a tablet or something. That's the looks like a picture frame as well. That's fine. Let's just go with it. So we've got our mobile device there. Let's just group those together. And then over here somewhere we're going to need the device that we want to connect to the internet. So let's just make up uh, an icon, and we'll make it look... Uh, something like this. Group those. So that's the device we want to connect to. Uh, this is the device we're using to connect. Uh, we need a cloud, obviously. Nothing works without a cloud. So let's create something resembling a cloud. And I'll do that together, and then we need an identity provider. Um, I'm going to steal the idea of a star. Naturally, given that I work for Auth0, it seems to make sense. Something like that. Plonk that down here. So there's our identity provider. So this is the screen that I want to end up showing people, and we're going to show a couple of lines going between them. But the other thing as well that we want is um, to be an opening slide, obviously we need some text. So let's just put some text in here, and we'll call this all the flows, change that to white. Now, because of the way Sozzy works, we can actually zoom all the way into an element. Now, I don't want this text to be visible when we've got this uh, large view. So I'm going to make this text really small and we'll move it just into the corner there just, just so we make it easier to find when we're using Sozzy. Make it smaller again. So now when we zoom all the way out, it's in there somewhere but we can't really see it. So that kind of meets my needs. And in fact, let's just go in there and we're going to rotate this as well so that when we show it in Sozzy, we can do some of the, the rotation work as well. 
and then we need some lines so let's put a line from the mobile phone to the device and we need a line from the device via the cloud to the identity provider we need another line from the identity provider via the cloud back to the device and then from the device back over here let's just make these a bit prettier make that a bit rounded make this one rounded and we'll save that so I've saved this as all the flows.svg. If we jump to Saucy now, let's open that up. And here it is. So it's found it already in, in the directory. <coughs> we'll open that up. And here we have the view that we just created, although we'll notice that the, um, the aspect ratio is 4.3, which is the default when you open Saucy. So I'm just going to change that to 16.9. And there we have it. So it's a slightly different layout, and it seems to be closer to the top, and the bar at the bottom isn't there, and the text isn't showing up. So one thing that might help is text by default can be tricky because of fonts. So let's change this to a path. Um, so that is now not images. Uh, that's not text now, it's um, actual shapes. You can see if we go in here and modify this, we could extrude that out. So that's no longer text, that's just a shape now. So let's save that and read out here. There we go, we've got our text on here. So on the left-hand side down here, we've got a list of all the layers, and this becomes a timeline across to the right. So we've got a number of layers. I'm going to add them all in because we want to show them all. Uh, what was layer one? Do we need that one anymore? Oh, I'll tell you what, I wanted the... Um, lines to be on a separate layer. So let's just come in here and add flow lines. And then we're going to take these lines here and move to lines. So we can show those separately. Okay, good. And we don't need layer one. There's nothing in there that we want. Um, so let's add in icons, lines, and footer. And then if we hide these, we can check that that's everything. So the default doesn't actually contain anything that we want to show. So we can ignore that. So let's add a frame. So right at the very beginning, we want the um, the footer here to, we can move this down. So we've, we've got on move mode here. And normally you'd be able to move it all over the place. Hitting control just locks it into that vertical or horizontal shift. So I'm just going to hold that down so I can bring it back down to the bottom and make sure that it's, it hasn't moved horizontally. Uh, then we want to come into the icons. So the icons here, remember in that spot there, there was the logo. So we want to zoom in on that spot, not the logo, the title. And of course that's not going to show either because we need to uh, object a path on that one. There we go. So here's the text over here. And then we'll rotate to some kind of funky angle. And we'll zoom all the way in. So there's our opening slide. Uh, then we want our next slide. So in this case here, we want the icons to uh, zoom out so we can see the cloud. So the first thing that I'm going to say is that obviously everything goes via the cloud. So that's what we want to show first. So let's just bring that mostly upright. I'm just visually lining up the top of this box here to the top of the frame. Oops. And now we want to zoom in a bit. So we now know that the cloud is um, going to end up in this position. So if we switch between these two frames, we can come from the title and then out to show the cloud. Now the lines we also don't want to be able to see. So from the first frame, let's just hide the icons. From the very first frame, I want to zoom out on the lines so they're no longer visible. So they're approximately there. 
I'll move into the middle. And now we come to... Oh, it's invisible. That's why. So now we come here, and the lines are hidden behind there. Uh, the footer has also come in, so the footer was hiding behind, and is now visible to the front. So now we want to take the next step. So uh, we can, we're going to do a modification on a bit of moving around, and then we'll come back and we'll crop later to just clean up anything that leaks outside of the view. So the next thing we want to do is talk about the user. Uh, so let's add another frame, and at this point here we're going to bring that over, um, not the user, the device. So we can talk about the cloud, then we can bring in the device, and we add another frame, and at this point we want to bring in sorry, on the device, the, the app, and then we can bring in the device, and then we add another frame, and this is where we would then bring in the identity provider. Uh, but of course, at this point here, you can already see the identity provider, so here's where we can start cropping. So I'm going to crop the identity provider out. So you can see here, it's still sticking over the top of it. So we can hit save, jump straight back into Ins Inkscape, just move that down a bit and let's also move the arrows save that come back in here and now we can actually crop the star out completely uh, the previous view there that looks fine going from there to there there's a little bit we can see just in the top right hand corner here as I switch between them a little bit of the device pokes in so what I want to do at this point here is I'm going to apply a crop to this point. Just set that in there. So now, okay, so we also need to apply the crop at this point here. And it's still half poking in. A bit closer. There we go, that's gone there. So we can't, oh, it's just showing. <laughs> God. Right, let's bring that down and that across. Right, now we're not seeing anything in the top right hand corner, there's no little flicker there. Um, the There is a little bit of a white gap up here though when the the, the app, the mobile device is being brought in. So let's see what happens if we take that back up. Still getting some white. Bring this up again. Maybe it's just on the right that we need to crop it. Okay, that's great. So we're now getting no clipping on the left, but we're also not getting any of the device showing up on the right. So from the beginning, we've got all the flows. Now things moved slightly, so I'm just going to recenter this. That's the opening, opening frame, then we move from there. So the only issue now is we've got that clipping on the right, um, which is due to the fact that this is cropped. That's not ideal, I'm gonna find a different way to solve this. So let's bring that back out. So now we don't have any clipping on the right, we go to this view, and then we come here, but we again have that device clipping in the, in the top. So I'll just save this, switch back. I'm going to solve it by moving this to the right a little. Right, save that, come back here, move that crop. And now when we go between the two, there's nothing showing through the top. And then we bring in the device. And then we bring in the identity provider. The device is a bit close to the right hand side there for my liking. So I'm just going to, that was the crop I moved. I'm just going to move this whole thing over a little to there. And then we bring in the identity provider. So that whole thing again, I'd prefer to have more centered like this. And now the last bit we want to do, we've got the icons appearing as we'll create a new one here, but now we're going to modify on the lines line, 
uh, layer on this frame. We're going to come in here and we're going to zoom those lines back in. So I'm just using the mouse scroll wheel to zoom. That's uh, going to take forever. You can also press Control E, um, which I noticed earlier over here um, is a shortcut for fit to element. So I've just got these to fit, and now I can move them into place like so. So this here actually happens as a zoom. Now because it's zooming from so small to so big, it looks more like it just an appear. But what we can do is we can... So the transition here, duration one second, I'm going to get it to ease out. And that way it'll be slower towards the end of the transition. There we go. So you can actually notice that it zooms in. So if I hit save now, and we go over to our file viewer. So the SVG is the original file we had. Sozzy has created an HTML file, an adjacent file, and a presenter view as well, which is new. I haven't looked at that yet. But if we open the HTML file, um, we can see, and if I hit F11, that'll go to full screen. So now we have uh, a view there. Some interesting cropping. I don't mind the way it looks, but it's not the way it's supposed to look. I'm still not quite sure what's going on there, but if I then just click with this, or if I had a presentation pointer uh, plugged in, I'd just be able to click, and it would start the transition. And here we get the, uh, the animation going through, and we have the rotation at the beginning, and then the arrows should come in. And there we have it. First few steps of using Sozzy and Inkscape to create a dynamic uh, presentation, multiple layers, rotation, uh, looks pretty good. I'm going to go off and uh, make some nicer icons and I'll probably will end up moving these lines onto separate layers. I'd like this line to appear uh, first of all as I'm talking. Now, obviously I could do some cropping but the bottom of this part of the line is below the bottom of this so cropping this out and showing just certain parts is going to be tricky. So I think each one's probably going to end, each line will end up in, in his own layer for the ease of um, animation. Uh, then once I've done the device flow, I'll work on a few other flows and hopefully have a, a nice, engaging, interesting, pretty presentation to go along with hopefully a not too dry presentation content. Thanks for listening. Join me again next time.